Yeah, what's up? It's your boy, Nitro Hot Fire here, and uh, welcome to season two of my vlog, which I don't know what to call this thing yet, but it's just the vlog. <laughs> so, I have a different camera set up right now. I'm doing the vlog with a with my Canon RP with my 18 to 35 Sigma art lens on it. And this thing is heavy. Um, I'm doing this because my other camera died. I usually have two with me and I want to film this section. Uh, this is a beautiful image though. And I love it. Ooh, look, money. Ooh, my hand is like numb right now because of how heavy this lens is. I wonder can I hold it like this? Oh my God, this thing is rough. So, <laughs> but <laughs> um, this is season two of my vlog. And basically I'm going to be having a different season every month. Last season did not have the full 30 episodes because if you were here, uh, for the last episode, you know that um, I'm prepping for a funeral right now. And uh, I'm still dealing with a lot of emotions and feelings and things of that nature involved in that type of stuff. But um, I'm working through it. So today I'm going out. The, the funeral is actually tomorrow. Today I'm going out to uh, find a suit because they want me to wear a navy suit. I'm not the type of person to have a suit or own suits. So I'm having to do that today. Money is really tight as well. So I don't have a good suit budget. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So right now I am checking uh, lenses because I was the lens I was using is just way too heavy and I really would like to switch to permanently using my Canon RP because it is full frame and as much as I don't really care about full frame like that um, because of how much of a hassle it is um, I can't help but liking the challenge of it. Um, the challenge of getting, using a full frame camera. It also has the shallow depth of field. You see how blurry the background is. So I'm really liking that. So right now I'm using a 24 millimeter uh, F 2.8 pancake lens on my camera right now. Um, it still delivers some good shallow depth of field. Uh, but the issue is the fact that um, this is an APS-C lens. So what it does is it crops the sensor into an APS-C size, so it's no longer full frame. Um, I know like some of you who are not camera people probably don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but <laughs> um, it's just not using the full size of the sensor. So um, in lower light situations and things like that, it's not gonna be as bright. Um, However, it is daytime, so that doesn't really matter right now. But I'm really just trying to get a good camera package where I can film and shoot stuff. And it's not gonna be this huge bulking like piece of equipment. Like for instance, this is the lens right here that I was using earlier when I said my camera was like really heavy. Like this thing is massive, like, and it's heavy. It's the heaviest lens I have. Um, it's probably over a pound. Um, possibly and so like while I have like my little tripod thing set up for my selfie viewpoint of me just talking here to the camera uh like my wrist is like shaking <laughs> so um with that lens at least and also there's no uh there's no stabilization so stabilization means that if my hand shakes slightly then the lens is okay <laughs> it's not gonna shake all around and everywhere but i'm um, really trying to figure out the vlog set up for season two the vlog will get better over time 
Um, I like setting up the camera somewhere and then just being able to sit there and talk to it. That's kind of my thing. Um, walking and talking to the camera is a thing that is, um, I guess, more normalized in vlogging. So I'm going to see what I can do about adjusting that because this thing do be heavy. Definitely be heavy. <laughs> so we'll see. But um, I may stop by Camera Graphics and check out uh, the viewpoint that they have um today actually i am going to stop by them like in a few minutes uh but first i gotta go stop by a place to get a suit um the last place i checked was really expensive uh not really exp <laughs> expensive is relative but it was like 140 some dollars i don't really have that to use for a funeral it's like it's expensive when you don't got it so but um you know, I'm going to be going around doing different shopping places and stuff. But, uh, definitely got to stop by camera graphics. Actually, I should have recorded this so I could have it for reference. So this will be for 35 here. Yeah, so this 24 millimeter is way lighter. Like, okay, this is not going to kill my, my arm. <laughs> Oh, that's good. It's got 15 reviews on Bia Nation, all 15 are five stars. Oh, yeah, I don't expect anything less, though, from the RF. Yeah. Has there ever has there been a, a bad RF lens that they've... Not that I'm aware of, okay, but aware people of. still, if you look online, a lot of times you'll see some one and two-star reviews. And like, what is this person? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what they're talking about. Well, yeah, I think this might be on the list. <laughs> so Went to Camera Graphics, saw a lot of what we was working on, uh, saw a lot of what the lenses were and what my options were in the future. And then I realized I did the same thing that I was doing last time. Like the question is like, do I really need another lens? Answer to that is no. <laughs> no, I don't need another lens. Uh, would I like another lens? Yes. Do I really need another lens? No. Question is, what do I actually need? I realized that I need a gimbal. So I'm going to call them up and see exactly like if what gimbals they have and like what price point they have. And then I'm gonna probably save up for that and figure out how to get that and go from there. It's interesting how I'm always doing so much stuff and then in a way I kind of lose track of exactly what I'm doing. And basically what that means is I've realized that I'm supposed to be making this show for Roku, which is going to be how to make a movie from start to finish. And I don't know how many episodes are going to be in this web series, but it is something I had planned on doing. And the crazy part about it is in the middle of making another show, <laughs> Like we're, we're right now making a TV show. Um, we kind of forgot, it kind of like glazed over that we're doing the thing already, but we also have to make a show about doing the thing. So that is <laughs> something that we kind of need to figure out how to do exactly. And so that's something that I need to work on. It's something I'm gonna start working on uh, soon, but life man it's just life is always happening it's always in the it's not necessarily always in the way it's just always happening there's always something to do so that's something that i definitely need to work on for what's happening uh with that with that show so we can go ahead and pop that on the roku channel as well um right now i'm on my way to a meeting and then um we're gonna figure out exactly what season two is going to be about so 
We're gonna set goals for what's gonna happen by the end of the season or the end of the month rather. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start mapping that out for success. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to win since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight.